What's up everyone? It's Nick here with the Buzzlux YouTube channel. And today we're looking at my uh budget peripheral uh choices for uh, early 2015. Uh now this is for um someone on a budget, you know, just starting out in the PC gaming uh world. And maybe you're maybe you checked out some of my budget uh gaming builds and you're building your first computer or uh you just need to replace your standard uh, computer mouse and keyboard and stuff okay so for the keyboard uh, you really can't get a mechanical keyboard in the budget price range so I tried to find something that had uh, at least six key uh, rollover so you can press six keys at once uh, and have them all register and uh, Something that was backlit because back backlighting is pretty important. Uh, it definitely helps when you're playing in a dark room. So that's where this comes in. This is the TT Esports Challenger Prime, and we take a look at a couple of the pictures here. It has quite a lot of options for a thirty-dollar keyboard. Pretty cool design as well. Oh, let's get an overhead view here. <clears throat> You can see here, pretty cool. Uh, has a wrist rest built in. It's quite a large keyboard, so definitely make sure you have the space for this kind of a keyboard on your desk. But this should be a very good keyboard for general use and gaming. Uh, has quite a lot of uh, function keys and uh, different capabilities. It has uh, pro a programmable keys here on the side. Looks like you have one, two, three, six programmable keys. Um, and there's switching here. So you can have three different uh, sets of six. So you know you have your M1 set, then you can switch to M2 and have a whole different set of six programmed keys. And I believe you can program uh, the different keys within their software, which I was taking a look at and it looks pretty pretty good. Pretty good, simple, to, simple, easy to use software. So, um, it also comes with a uh, my computer key, a uh, I believe it's a mail key if you want to bring up your inbox, a uh, home key, which I think is for your internet browser, your default home page internet browser, which are actually pretty nice to have. Uh, I wish I had. Uh, command keys for these on my computer that would be very helpful um, it has your I'm not sure exactly what this is I thought it was a volume uh, knob but I see now here there's volume controls here so I'm not entirely sure what that is if it is anything but you have your media functions here your play pause uh, you know skip to next song uh, fast forward uh, and your volume controls and there is a uh, some more function keys here if you hold the function your F keys have other functions as well um, this has three different LED lighting uh, colors you have like blue uh, purple and red I believe it's kind of taking a long time to load there's blue There's it's like a pinkish purplish. Here is the red. So very nice looking. Uh, plenty of uh, options, you know, for as far as uh, command keys and functions for the price. It's a full size keyboard. It is membrane, but it has, uh, I believe, it's six key rollover on it. So not too bad for a thirty dollar keyboard. This is definitely gonna be better than your standard keyboard and give you more options all right moving on here let's check out the monitor so as far as budget gaming monitors you're going to want to get at least a 1920 by 1080 p 23 24 inch monitor uh, really don't go anything lower than uh, 1920 by 1080 resolution uh, 1080p is really the, the standard for uh, T 
TVs and monitors alike uh, right now. So definitely look for one of these. Um, prices vary a lot with uh, these monitors, the size and this resolution. Uh, but I would recommend um, Acer. I've had good experiences with Acer products. Uh, Asus monitors. Uh, those two mainly are the ones I would ma mainly recommend for these uh, these monitors, or these size and resolution monitors. Uh, I would also recommend you get an IPS panel. Um, and this kind of lighting technology uh, gives a lot um, better picture. It's more the colors are more real to life, and uh, it'll give you a better visual experience. Uh, so find an IPS panel, like 23, 24 inches at 1920 by 1080. And I would also recommend you find it, make sure it has a HDMI on it, because you're going to want that eventually. It'll be nice to have. Um, yeah, so that would be my recommendation for a, because prices vary so much of these, you know, there's plenty of different models from Acer and Asus, all in this price range, and they, they kind of fluctuate in price uh, a lot. So, yeah, there is my monitor recommendation for my budget uh, peripherals. Okay, here is the headset. Now, right now, this is a pretty good headset for the money. Actually, the best for the money, in my opinion. Uh, it's got huge drivers for this uh, priced, this kind of priced headset. Uh, it's good reviews, really good reviews for he a headset actually. Uh, it's a built-in mic, you know. It's, looks pretty good. Braided cable. I'm not sure how long the the sale is going to last for this, but uh, right now this would be my choice. Um, if uh, this is not on sale anymore, uh, I would recommend one of these. Um, now, this is a little bit expensive for a budget headset, but and it's there's another place for thirty six dollars. Um, but uh, yeah, for thirty six bucks, this is probably your best bet. Best bet. Uh, that check makes pretty good stuff, and uh, you really don't want to skimp too much on the headset because you'll get, you'll get a better experience overall with a higher quality headset. So that would be my second choice, not for forty five dollars, but for when it's like thirty five, uh, it'd be a good option. Uh, now for the mouse. Now for a budget mouse, this seems like a really good option. Uh, for 30 bucks, it's a full size mouse, so it's not gonna be like a little dinky mouse. Uh, unless you have a claw grip for your mouse and you prefer a smaller mouse, uh, there's the Cooler Master Storm uh, or Recon or something like that, which is a smaller mouse, but uh, I chose this one because most people, I feel, would want a larger, more more palm uh, grip mouse, and it will it will look nicer with the keyboard with that the smaller Recon uh, Cooler Master Recon. It will kind of uh, I feel it will look really really small in comparison to the giant keyboard. So this will look nicely. Has good reviews. Uh, I know people uh, do like this brand of mouse for budget mice. It's uh it has an optical sensor, I believe it's thirty two hundred or three thousand DPI optical sensor. It has uh weight tuning, DPI switching, programmable buttons, and this does also have nice software for uh programming the keys on it. So this would be my choice for a budget uh gaming mouse. There you have it. These are my budget peripheral choices for early 2015. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. I'm going to be posting two other videos um, of uh, mid-range options for uh, peripherals as well as uh, high-end or higher-end uh, peripheral choices. Thank you for watching. 
This is Nick with the Buzzlux YouTube channel.